Welcome back to our talk round on Inside Tennessee. Susan, let's lead off with you and sum up our conversation with the mayor. She's eight months in. What's your take? Well, she's doing a great job. You know, this is this is a tough time for any new official to come into office faced with a pandemic and, uh, you know, health departments, uh, engagement and everything that's going on. So I think she seems, at least from our conversation, to be moving along with her priorities, uh, climate change, uh, outdoor recreation, uh, body cams. You know, she's accomplished quite a bit in this first eight months. And I said, especially considering that she's been dealing with this uh, health crisis. Don, how about you? Uh, I agree. Uh, uh, India has done a fabulous job. Frankly, I've been impressed with how she stepped up, as Susan said, in a time of crisis, but two, working with a county mayor who philosophically is very different. I'm not necessarily being critical of Glenn Jacobs, but their politics are about as opposite to get, as it gets. But both of them uh, particularly have found a way to mesh their ideologies and serve this community well. So I've been very impressed with India Kincannon in doing that. And uh, I, I think we've hit a home run with our mayor. Don, quickly, special session this week. Lawmakers wrapped up doing a couple of things, extending some liability protection for businesses and schools, but also uh, made camping on a state grounds, particularly the Capitol, a felony offense. Your thoughts? Uh, I, I think this is a ridiculous overreaction. They're really not trying to punish, quote unquote, camping. They're trying to punish speech and protesters that disagree with largely the supermajority currently uh, in, in power. This, uh, I don't know that these laws are going to stand. Frankly, I think there's some very unconstitutional things. We were talking off air. Are you more worried about a protester? And I'm not talking about a vandal. We have laws for that. But a protester on state grounds, not impeding traffic and not hurting anybody, but being vocal, or a third offense drunk driver? Because we're going to treat that protester by way of a felony conviction far harsher than we would a third offense drunk driver. And that's not really what we should be doing. I think this is a ridiculous overreaction by the state legislature. Susan, only 30 seconds left. Your take, Kamala Harris, a smart pick by Joe Biden or a not smart pick by Joe Biden? I think she's actually a smart pick. She's very bright. She held her own in all the presidential debates. And I think she's going to make him look extremely weak and old. <laughs> all right. We appreciate you both. We hope uh. to see you next week. <laughs> Until then, have a great one.